welcome here for this uh, quick video, data driven marketing, all things digital by Kite. And the first two videos are about introduction to data driven marketing, why it's important, and so on. And we said now we're going to focus on what actually is data, um, how do we collect data, and how can we use it. So if you live in Southeast Asia, you probably know Lazada. If you're not living in Southeast Asia, then let's just take the typical example Amazon for it. Yeah, for example. So those companies, they um, obviously need lots of data or they generate lots of data. And by using the data that, that they generate with us I and mean, analyzing it, they understand what we want. So if I go to the Lazada or Amazon.com um, homepage, I probably see different products than you will see there. And that's because of the way they use data. Yeah, they, use, they know, okay, I clicked on all those things before, show me tech stuff, show me sports stuff, and so on. You click on other things before, then you will see um, other categories highlighted. All right, so that makes sense, I, I assume. So that means data from digital marketing campaigns can help understand customers and improve the way to market to them, right? That's what we discussed like the last few minutes or the last few videos already. So overall analyzing the data behind campaigns can help to actually pinpoint the success factors and what makes us successful, where did people click, where did people interact, when did they interact, but it also highlights where we can I say the word suck in a video? Where we um, have potential, that's what I mean. Where we have potential, so problem areas. It helps us to um, see our problem areas as well. So it makes sense to use data and, and analysis of the data for several reasons. One is we can hopefully um, target our customers better, but we also see uh, where we're lacking and where we have to improve, which is nice. So you can see that data is quite important. I think saying this, I'm quite confident that even uh, Snooze here agrees data is important. Right, Snooze? I thought so. Uh, if I know what Snooze likes, for example, with kind of food and so on, and what, what, she, what she drinks and what she eats and when she eats, then I can make sure that she also has a better life and that she likes me better. And if I give her the right food that she likes, and then my life is, good, is easier too. That's just like, <laughs> I'm putting her down, that's just the same. Um, with us knowing how our customers, how our potential target of audience um, live their lives, right? So data is important. And if we use the data, we can use data for several, on several aspects when it comes. We can check the customer journey, for example. We can analyze how customers behave when they move through the customer journey. We can see how we can use data to acquire new customers. How can you reach a new target audience? We can um, make our advertising efforts more efficient. And um, obviously, again, the point that I highlight all the time, we can make our marketing efforts um, more personalized and hence hopefully also more successful. Question though, of course, is how do we actually get to that point to then increase our marketing success? And the first step we should be doing is, in my opinion, we should know um, a few of the most common data types. And a few of the most common data types that uh, there are, um, actually the most common data types that there, uh, there are, first party, second party, third party data. And that's what we should know. First party data simply means um, data that we collect by ourselves. So um, you log into my website, you move around my website, you have an account on my website, you check out and so on. I collect your data, I keep it, and I know who you are. So that's first party data. Second party data then means I use data of a partner company, partner website. If you partner with um, Lazada or with Amazon, for example, I'm not sure if Amazon will partner with you, but yeah, sure. If uh, you partner with Amazon or Lazada, then you can use their data, they will use your data because you are partnering. And the third by third party data, you see I'm excited, is simply the data that is usually collected through cookies via third party websites or third party um, service providers. They store this information and then they sell this information um, to other businesses. This could be done by Oracle, for example. I think they're one of the more famous companies doing that using um, cookies and so on to collect data and then to share their databases with whoever is interested. Okay, if you want to know more about the tech behind it, like how cookies drop, for example, uh, I will also have a video here on, the, on the, the tech behind all those things, more on like what's first, second, third pie data, um, how do we use it, when do we use it, and so on. But before we go there um, into the, the, the tech part of things, I would like to finish um, 
the agenda that I introduced in the last video, meaning we talk about what is data that was now, then we talk about the customer journey next video, and then we talk about how we track it. So that's it for right now. Next video, because um, I have to kind of feed my little customer here because she's already back. Um, next video then on the customer journey and how uh, data-driven marketing improves the customer journey. Um, but first we're gonna eat now. <laughs>